Hello, I've got a Karcher K2 Premium. It's about four or five years old, I think, this thing. Anyway, it was uh, working summer, so it hasn't been frozen. It was working last time it was put away. And got it out to do some pressure blasting. And it's not working, it's completely dead. It just doesn't do anything at all. Turned on, the mains fuse has been checked. Um, if yours doesn't work, first thing to do is check the cable, make sure no one's trod on it, driven over it, cut it, frayed it, yanked it. I'm seeing any other obvious signs of cable fraying or damage, so we can't find out what's wrong with this. Put the hose on, put the uh, lance on, put the pressure on. Just not playing ball, not a peep. So we're going to whip all these screws out. This one, this one, probably that one, probably that one, probably that one down there, that one down there, this one down here, that one and that one, and split her open and have a poke about inside. So um, my humble assistant is going to hold the camera while I do that. You don't have to press anything, like it's or anything, you'll just have to follow me around with the camera. Yeah. working fine and it's not anymore it didn't fail halfway through being used or anything it just wasn't working the next time I went to use it and that's typical isn't it that's not long enough to go down that hole so I'll just pause it for a moment you're actually pointing the camera at the right place how did we go press the pause that one up there I think was it no that one there Now whip out your screws. I wonder if I take this wheel off. Can't remember if this came with wheels on or off, but it looks like that screws in the way. The wheel's gonna get in the way of the screw coming out down there. And if you've got any comments on the camera work, then please leave them <laughs> <laughs> leave them in the comments section. And I'll pass them on to the person involved. Otherwise known as COVID Mary. Oi. She bought it home. She had it before. I can't get my wheels off. Looks like this um yeah, this black clamshell thing just comes off and there's screws being revealed underneath. So yeah, it unclips off the front, so you unclip her. And you get the cavalry out again. What's the betting that's wrong? Internal fuse? Could be. I think the wire's been yanked out because it was working when it was put away. If it had gone oh, halfway through being used, then you think, ah, oh. mind you, there is a leaf in it. There's a leaf in it, and there's still water going through though. Yeah, I think I'm thinking uh, think the wire's been yanked or something. We'll see if we've got some mains going into her. There's not much inside. No. It's a pressure washer. So we're taking the pressure washing module remove. Yeah, look at that. There's not much to say. <laughs> this cable goes straight inside, look. Okay, we have the module. Does she unclip, you think? All these clips come off, probably. So to I all... I zoomed in. I don't know what you've done. That's the zoom okay. there. I must have not, not bet. So they were having an enthralling right. video, weren't they? <laughs> I'm sure you can cut that bit out. No, well, what about my lovely commentary that will be lost? It's not going to happen. OK, well, look, we're going to pull this pipe off, that one there. Then we pull that out of there, and then we can get rid of all this plastic whiz bang. And there's the business end of it. Maybe the brushes are worn out. Might be the brushes. That's the other possibility, isn't it? So we are going to need... It's all clipped together, like one of those things where you have to get all the clips to let go before it'll um, come apart, by the look of it. Yeah, these ones here. Should we try? Shall we try by hand, or shall I go and get a big screwdriver? Come on. This one's a bugger.
That one's already unclipped, but it's already that one's already come adrift by look of it. Which one's stopping it coming apart? Is it this thing here? I'll take it. Maybe after the other side as well. Maybe. Oh, no, you can't look. Just uh, they're kind of poked in there permanently. Well, you can actually. I need to go and get a screwdriver. If we just press sure, pause, pause a moment. Pause. Okay, so I think we can just lever these up on this side. It's pretty straightforward. I thinking brushes now, but I could be completely wrong. Place your bets. What's going to be wrong? No, no more thing with these pressure washers is people let them freeze and they've blown the seals out or the little metal plugs they put in. Come on. What else is uh, holding this together? Something down here. Oh, there we are. That's the cover that comes off, evidently. Evidently, that's the cover. That, there we are. Ooh. So it's not plugged in, obviously. <laughs> is it? No dear. <laughs> <laughs> Life insurance. Come on, let's come on. Show, show the viewers everything inside. Come on, zoom in. That's it. You can zoom as well. There we go. So we've got the uh, fanny bit, and then the brushes. The brushes look all right, actually. I can't see that there's anything wrong with them. And then a motor with a winding, and then a pump, and then that's where the mains comes in. So. There's a pressure switch in here, obviously, which is... What's that thing there? Is that just the on-off? That's the... That goes in the back of your control knob in there, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the on-off cam. So that should make it run or not run. So either we've got no power coming in, so we need to get the extension lead and just check the in incoming voltage, so... Cable, do you think? Maybe. That, should, that shouldn't really... I don't want to hold on to it because it's not double insulated. Let's just put the cover back on temporarily. Yeah, Do you right. want to describe what happened? No, no, it's all right. Just, um, just, just plug it in. It is plugged in. No. It's oh. Not. Plug it in. Then, when the wires, just I'll get ready to unplug it. So it's not supposed to be running at all now. So if I do that, I should turn it off. Try that. Off again. So there's this pressure switch. Maybe the pressure switch is gone because that's not supposed to be going at all. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's no pressure on it, it doesn't normally run. Oh, it, oh it, no, it doesn't run unless there's mains pressure on it, does it? It does actually, doesn't it? It actually does, come to think of it. And it stops when the pressure builds up, the back pressure turns it off. Brushes are naked. Is that unplugged now? Yeah. So we'll turn it off. Is it off now? It's not plugged in. Yeah, just plug it in, I'll see if it's running or not. Yeah. Plug it in. Oh, I see. You can't turn it further than that because the knobs won't let you. So the knobs are natural stop. So um, it's off now, but obviously the mains is in now. So is it the mains cable? Got something wrong with it? Maybe. Not see any burnt crimps or anything. It's clearly working. Dodgy switch, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know what's a mystery this because we've been trying to make it work, and as soon as I got it out the case and uh, turned it on, it came on straight away, and it's still it's still going. And if it it's it's quite lively actually, so you do have to hold on to it, otherwise it flips over on the bench. <laughs> so uh, my pulse rate has returned to normal. <laughs> Um, all I did was move the brushes, and the brushes look good to me. I pushed them back with the screwdriver. You can see the mark on that one down there. See that mark? And the commutator looks good, so I don't think it's that. It's obviously something to do with the switch or the mains cable's got a break in it somewhere. Difficult to know, really. 
So what I'm going to do is put it back together and then uh, probably play around with the mains cable and see if it's that. But if I turn this cam which goes locates into the back of that switch, it suddenly starts but it's been stalled in its refusal to uh, actually make run at all up until it suddenly bursts into life after we've taken it apart, which is typical. Not a hard fault. There's a valve here, look, and I think that's the on-off valve. Um, I, actually, I, I just think that's the uh, intake for the detergent comes up there. And there's kind of a pressure blocking valve, which when the pressure is high, it blocks that and stops the detergent unless you turn the lance to soapy setting. This is the output, obviously pump and the rest of it so yeah something intermittent which I don't like on intermittent faults but if I find out what it is I'll come back to you and uh, give you the rundown or the lowdown whether it's the on off switch or a stuck switch or something stuck somewhere but at the moment we'll just prove it to you is it plugged in it is yeah if you hold the camera yeah watch Nothing wrong with it at the moment, so either it's the cable, your fingers crossed, no, she's running now, so very strange indeed. Um, yeah, so press pause. So, <laughs> completely pointless repair because it just started working spontaneously. Uh, either the cable or something stuck in the on off switch. My favourite uh, suspect is the on off switch was sticking, but it's alright now. It's chooching away, so um, yeah, sorry you didn't fix it, but it was a trip inside a pressure washer. You could see what was in there in case you were ever curious, you know what it's like. And uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe down there if you want to see some more really boring videos. Thanks.